This is Mr. Brilliant St. Elizabeth Catholic School. Today I'm going to teach you how to put a limit switch on a robot arm such that the limit switch will shut the motor off when it hits the dead stop instead of having the motor stall itself out and possibly break. So what we do is we go File, New Standalone Project, click on Autonomous, click OK. Now first thing we do is bring an input flow in here. We are going to grab a, oops, sorry, flow, while loop. Bring the while loop in and just click on while one. So while it's true, let's do this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring an if statement in. We're going to put the if statement in there. We're going to click on whoops, while one again, while true. Then we click on the else statement. We bring it in. Now what we do is we go up to variables. Click on the variables. Click on this and we're going to unsigned integer. The name is limit. The value is one. So, and that means that it's not pushed. So if it's a one value, it's not pushed at zero. When you push the button, the computer will read a zero, the binary of zero, and it'll mean it's pushed. Click OK. Now what we do is we bring in a limit switch into here. And we say it's in digital input number one. I know that. And it's where we set this up in the variables. We click on this, not pushed. And it's not pushed. Now, put as much detail in here as you can when you're doing stuff in this area down here. It takes a little bit longer, but it helps you A, troubleshoot later, helps somebody else troubleshoot your program. And the biggest problem and complaint in industry about PLC programming is the person says, I have no idea what that person is trying to do with their logic. I can't follow all the digital inputs in and inputs and outputs. So it's best to comment as much as possible. So let's go there. Next thing we do is we bring in a motor module, which is an output and we bring the motor module into here. And I know that motor module is in, num input number, or is in motor port number two. I want to run it slow, minus 50. And the reason I want to run it slow is that while I'm debugging, I can speed this up later, but while I'm debugging it right now, I want some reaction time. If this isn't working out the way I want it to, and, and I push the limit switch and doesn't stop, stop the motor, I want to be able to shut the thing off. And this allows me to do that, okay? So now we're going to go arm up, limit. So now we would take that very same motor, we copy it, Paste it down here, click on that guy, and make him full stop. Full stop. Okay, so there's my program. Now, i got to go back into this if statement and correct it, because right now it's going to have the one in there, and I don't want the one in there. I want to wipe that out and go add variables from where I did it before from here. Add variable, limit, button not push. Click OK. Now, this program will say, the variable turns the switch on. It says if the switch is not pushed, meaning it's it's a one in the binary, it will run this. If it's pushed, it does this. Again, this is can be this can be a subroutine within a big program, which is the way my students use this. I'm just setting it up as a single routine right now, just so you can see it. And then what we do is we go build and download. I've already got the robot connected. Build and download. With any luck, it'll yep. Build and download. So it's gone in and building and downloading. Okay. Now, I can go into here, before I do anything, I can go into here, into Tools, Online Window, which means it's communicating with the robot. Click on that. This will open up, I can click Enable. And now it's gonna look for all the digital inputs. Now, I can look down here, mine's in digital input. So this means right here, button's not pushed, but if I push this, you can see it's zero. So I know I've set it up right in the program. It's just a way to check. This is a great little screen for troubleshooting. I can also turn my motors off and on and so on. Okay, so close that out. Now I'm just gonna double check, make sure this thing works. It's working perfectly. That's exactly how I wanted it to work. I've just tested it. 